All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one, another little just chatting, some some advice, some things that I've seen been seeing recently. So, Good Gear Strive has been out now for over a week, week and a half or something, and people have been going crazy. People, you know, the the hype building up to the game was was huge. Came out, great success. Everyone's having a, a wonderful time. It's awesome. But at the same time, I've been seeing some people that are, are feeling like some they're stressed out. You know, everyone is playing. There's there's so much pressure. Some people are feeling that they have to, you know. You have to keep up. You have to be the best. You have to go up here. Da, 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 da. So I just want to say, it's not just Guilty Gear Strive. It can be any fighting game, but for me, it could be life. It could be anything, but it's it's the famous quote, ready? It's it's not it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, right? It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So people feel really, really, really pressured right now, and perfect timing. Perfect timing. I was going to make the video either way, and then this tweet came out. So I was like, hey, look at this. This is from Elvin Shadow. So if you don't know who Elvin Shadow, he's one of the best. Maybe, I guess if you have to pick one person, he is the best Guilty Gear Plus R player in America. He's been playing Plus R for, God, like 15, 20 years. Well, Guilty Gear, like 20 years or something, and he is he's a beast. But in Strive, apparently he's getting his ass kicked. He, he's losing to the Zoomers. He's losing to Punk and Lost Soul and uh, Super Noon and Preston Bun. So he's thinking, maybe I'm actually really just bad at fighting games. So of course he's not bad. You know, obviously he's not bad at fighting games. Everyone is, is telling him, reassuring him that. But that... that thought process is not exclusive to, to Elven Shadow, you know? If you're struggling right now, if you're a new player, you're struggling, you, you're getting beat up, like Obama, Obama's getting washed by Bob, you're getting murdered. If you're one of these guys and you're feeling like helpless, like, don't worry about it, you know? It's still only the first week. The level of play right now, we we all suck. Your favorite player, who's your favorite player? Sonic Fox? They suck. They, they, anybody. Everyone right now is terrible. Oh, shut up, Juno, shut up, Juno. No, but it, it's a fact. You know, the level of play in a fighting game goes way it grows grows like exponentially over time so in a year you know one year from now if we look back on how we're playing right now today we'd be like dude everyone was terrible this is how it is so there's no point really at the moment to be to be really concerned about how strong you are or man i'm not gonna make it i'm not that good it's like we're all still learning right we're all still learning just take your time just take your time play improve as you go right and there's still gonna be a lot of balance changes there's gonna be dlc there's gonna be new tech coming out and we're gonna figure it out so like elvin is fine other people too but also like this so the the original reason so the original reason why i was gonna make a video aside from those comments was this the apology man tournament the 10v10 a lot of people when i talked about this 10v10 they were very very upset people were very upset at these lineups from both the the english and the japanese side right like what the hell how can this player's not playing how can this guy's not playing like this is this is terrible this is terrible a lot of the players don't want to play. This is what I'm talking about. Right now is still the very, very early, the training period, right? The learning and the training period. Some people don't even want to enter tournaments right now. That makes perfect sense, right? You're like, I'm still learning. I'm not ready to enter a tournament. I'm not ready to play in a competitive environment yet. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no rush. There's no need to be, even though it's fun. You know, Sonic won the first, the first Leffen tournament. That was like, what? three or four days after the game came out, it means nothing, you know, it means nothing. I mean, Sonic is the best at learning an early game, right? So we, we need more time, you need, everyone needs to, to get together. I think the first real test will be maybe Evo. Evo is what, two months after the game comes out. Unfortunately, there's no international competition, but even two months is super early, right? Even two months is super early in a, in a game's lifespan. So just relax, if you're falling behind, if you feel like, man, I can't keep up, these guys are too good, like just, just relax the other thing too is people people peak this is other things too you know if you're if you're a slow you know you're a slow learner these guys might be really fast but eventually they're gonna cap out you know eventually they're gonna they're gonna plateau and their growth is gonna slow down you're gonna catch up you know if you just stick with it you're gonna catch up to everybody and it's not just playing too there's like if you're like a content creator i know people are, are they're, they're grinding strive videos they feel like i gotta put out like five a day man i gotta grind i gotta grind i gotta grind commentators things like that it's like just take your time just be just be consistent you know be consistent take your time it'll work out in the end that's that's not enough for a video so of course i always have to give you a little history lesson too but this this talk of being like a slow starter and like you know taking some time before you really uh you know get going it happened to the best it happened to the the god of the fgc who am i talking about not me of course i'm talking about young daigo right here so Daigo is a legend. Everybody knows Daigo. If you don't know Daigo, it's inexcusable. If you're a new striver, you don't know this man, go look him up right now. But Daigo is, you know, the godfather of the FGC. The first season of Street Fighter V, I don't think Daigo won it. He won, I think, one tournament. He could not win anything. And the first, it was like the first two months or something, he didn't enter tournaments at all. 
he just practiced. He practiced. Everyone else is entering tournaments, and they were like, Daigo, why don't you enter the tournament? He's like, I want to practice. You know, I just want to practice. I want to practice. Then he started entering tournaments, and he, he lost. He didn't win anything. He was losing to, like, random no-name Americans, uh, dudes that, like, never played. He was losing, like, 18-year-old kids and stuff. He lost to Lupe. He lost to Lupe. But while he was losing, he was getting torn up uh, on the internet. Like, every day. It was like, retire, retire, old man. Washed up, washed up. Yeah, retire. Just quit. You're terrible. Blah, 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 blah. Like, he, everyone's going after him. And he said himself, he's like, no, I'm just, I, I'm a slow learner. I'm just going to stick with it. I'm going to take my time. And... You know, after the first season, he, he's better and better and better and better. Now he's a beast. Now, again, he's back on top. One of the best players in the entire world. He won last year. He qualified for Capcom uh, Cup. He won, the like, the hardest qualifier. Unfortunately, uh, it was canceled. But, you know, he's got a brand-new pro team right now. He's got more sponsorships. He's back on top. He's got a huge Twitch channel. He's got a, another platform. Like, he's more successful than he's ever been. And at, if you just focus on the early Street Fighter V, which is the period win right now with Strive, if he had listened to, like, all the negativity, if he would felt like, not that Elvin's going to give up, but, you know, if he felt like Elvin was like, man, maybe, I, maybe I'm just bad and I should quit. If he actually, like, listened to that voice in his head, you know, that's it. It would have been over. He wouldn't have been where he was right now. So, yeah, that's it. Just want to get that message across. If you're feeling that you're, you're too slow, that you, your growth is not good, that you just can't keep up, everyone's too good, just, just forget about it. You know, just take your time. Like I said, it's not a sprint. It's not a race. It's a marathon. If you just stick with it, you're going to get there eventually. And again, that applies to, to everything. In my, you couldn't completely disagree with me. You know, this is this is just uh, one take on it. Some people are like, shut up, you know, I need to be first right away. That's fine. But that's just my my thoughts. You can see, you know, I put out YouTube videos a week late every time. I just take my time. I'm always the last to react, man. I'm the last one to talk about anything. Just go at my own pace, take my own time. And, you know, it's worked. It's worked so far for me. There's no, no stress. But there you go. I'm rambling. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree, disagree. You know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with disagree. If you want to rush it down, if you want to be the, the first to do everything, like uh, Soldier Boy, then, then go for it. I don't know. But yeah, like always, if you're watching, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.